Okay. Welcome to my very first video tutorial. We're going to be talking about cropping today, which means first we need to have an image to crop. If you're not absolutely certain that you're not going to ever want the full-sized image again, it's also very helpful if you have a backup image saved somewhere else. Now that we have it open, zoom out just a little bit more because my screen is smaller than most screens are. Like, we make a selection. You can use any of these, although for most pictures you're cropping, you're probably going to want to use the rectangle. You can, however, use any one of those. Don't believe it, I'm getting a stage fright over a microphone. Make your selection. And since I'm cropping out the cross, back to single if you want to slide it around a little bit, or adjust size. Now for the actual cropping. Considering you don't have time for me to painstakingly get the rest of that circle out, there are several ways to crop, and if you're like me, you'll probably find one that you use and then forget about the rest of them. One of them is over here on the Layer Manager. You can crop current layer or crop all checked layers if you happen to have more than one layer. Crop current layer does that. Now undo. One that I tend to use. You notice that all it does is collect everything that you've selected. Then there is one over here. Crop all checked layers needs to have layers checked. And you notice there is also a keyboard command. And both of those end up doing that. Once you have your cropped image and you're satisfied with it, file save as and there we go you can also use this button here to save but I keep forgetting about it And I guess that's it for cropping. I hope this video turned out okay.